Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of decimal multiplication with area models. We will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we're looking at this problem here, 3.4 times 2.8. And I've drawn out an area model over here on the left. Let me show you how you can read it here. We will also look at how we can solve this problem if you don't necessarily have any group paper with you. But from left to right you see our first factor here, 3.4. Here's my 3, because I've got my 1, 2, 3 across in the red. And then my point 0.4 here, those are my 4 orange bars. So 3.4 is 3 holes and then 4 tenths. Now my 2.8 is going down the side here. So there's my 2, and there's my point 0.8 right there. My 2 is 1, 2 in the red. And then my point 0.8 are my 8 tenths down here. And so what we can do is we can go ahead and draw ourselves a rectangle here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it little, we're going to put four sections, but they're not going to be quarters because they're not going to be equal. And this is going to mirror what we have over here on the left side, but this is how you draw it on your own. We're going to use the distributive property multiplication. We're going to break apart this number into 3.4 and then 2.8, and I make them uh, strange like that because the sizes are not necessarily proportional. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do four separate multiplication problems. And we're going to have four partial products and then put them all together. So first, we're going to multiply our whole numbers, 2 times 3. So 2 times 3, that's going to make 6. And you see, if you count my red boxes here, I've got 1, 2, 3, that's going to be 4, 5, 6. So I've got 6 red boxes. Now we're going to multiply our 4 tenths times 2. So we multiply this 4 tenths times 2 right here. And that's going to give us a 0. I'm going to go and write it 0 0.8. Because if you count our orange bars right here, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4 there. And then you've got 4 here. So there's four bars here, four bars here. Each of those bars are tenths, so four tenths and four tenths make eight tenths. Now we're going to multiply our three holes times our point eight. So three times eight is 24, so three groups of eight tenths is going to be 2.4. Eight tenths and eight tenths and eight tenths makes 2.4 tenths. And if you count those here, you see you've got... 8 tenths and 8 tenths and 8 tenths, so that's 8, 16, 24 tenths, or 2.4 tenths. And then finally we have our very smallest square over here. That's going to be my 0.4 and my 0.8. So 4 times 8 is 32. So if I have 4 tenths times 8 tenths, that's going to be 0 0.32. Because when you multiply 2 tenths, your answer is going to be in the hundredths. And if you count... You can count, I've got four sets of eight here. I've got eight, 16, 24, 32. So that's going to be my 32 hundreds. Now to get my answer, all I need to do is I need to add these four up. Now the tricky part on this is we need to make sure we line up the decimals. Notice how I've written everything over here on the left side all the way to the hundredths place. Did that just to make sure my decimals lined up the six turns into 6.00 and so on here. And if we add this up, it's pretty simple. We're going to get 9 and 52 hundredths. So that is our answer of 3 and 4 tenths times 2 and 8 tenths. Now let's give you a try. All right, why don't you grab a pencil and paper, pause the video, and try to solve this problem with an area model. 6 and 3 tenths times 4 and 4 tenths. When you have your answer, start the video back up and check your work. Remember you draw a box with four sections that are unequal and you go ahead and write your numbers here. You split it up here, 6.3 and 4.4 and then you perform four separate multiplication problems. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 0.4 is going to be 24 but it's a decimal so we're going to make 2.4. The same thing happens over here, 4 times 0.3 or well, 4 times 3 is 12 so 4 times 0.3 is 1.2. And then 0.3 times 0.4 is going to be 0 0.12. Then you add it all up, make sure every number goes in the hundredths place, and you get 27 and 72 hundredths. 